What's up, Yup Gang? It's your boy Taxon, and welcome back to Yup DBSG Things. And today we're bringing you another very exciting battle. This is going to be round two of our local this week. This is U7 Gohan versus Soul Striker. But before we get into the battle, guys, I do want to say if you want any custom card sleeves and or mats, absolutely check out ProMats, guys. The best place to go get your custom card needs. Link is in the description below for you guys to go check them out. And also, as you can see on the screen now, they are holding a monthly tournament via Discord at the second weekend of every single month with some great prizing here. You could win some ProMat mats, some TCG medals, leaders, and also some booster boxes. So make sure that if this is something you're interested in, you use the link in the description below to go to this Discord and join it. With that being said, guys, if you guys enjoyed this battle or my content in general, make sure you guys smash those buttons, like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you're notified every single time I upload a video. And with that being said, we will see you guys. And here we are with the game, you guys. We have Gohan on the left, and I am on the right testing Red Blue Soul Striker. Gohan starting it off with the use of a We Are Universe 7, uh, allowing him to go through his deck and grab, I believe, any four cost or less U7 card I believe uh, using the opportunity basically just to turn one and go search a super combo uh, I start off with a multicolor charge and a swing I pass right back to him here we're getting his second energy turn we're gonna see probably a unison I'd imagine nope we're gonna get the use of a one drop Gohan here grabbing his unison off the top five Knowing that he's versing Soul Striker, he can play a little bit slower. So, not having his unison on turn two is not too bad. Uh, he swings with his leader, and I just take it. Here I'm charging, swinging, drawing, comboing. He is uh, comboing out, getting the effect of his one drop in his leader. And then, uh, additionally, the Android 17. I'm just using the ape to end my turn and then pass. Let's see the charge of a topo, tapping two for his unison this turn. Using his leader to attack mine. Comboing at 18, getting the draw off his leader effect. He's going to awaken, stand one, draw one, and rip himself down to five. And there he leaves it at 20k. I take it. He swings with his unison here. Comboing a skillless, triggering the backside effect of his leader and the one drop. Here he's comboing with uh, the Android 18, which allows him to draw as well if there's a, a skillless in, in the combo area. Here it looks like I'm just going to take that one as well. Starting off very aggressive. I already had six in the drop. He's using his fighting against faith to try to put me below four. Uh, swinging 25, I take it. Swinging once again because he is a dual attacker. I take this opportunity to awaken because I am at 4. And I just proceed to take it. <coughs> Getting uh, 5 of my life stuffed into my hand within the first 3 turns. The last turn from Gohan was fairly aggressive. Here I'm taking my turn 3 to play my unison. I'm minus 1 and I put his 1 drop back to his hand. And then I use my leader to attack. Here I'm directing in towards the unison. And then I draw 1 and untap 2. A very strong effect with Soul Striker's leader. Using my unison to attack into his unison, see if I can't kill it. He does use King Vegeta's imposing presence very strong because it can target unisons with its initial minus ten. Uh, so I did get dropped from ten to or from twenty to ten and decided to combo a Quetzalcoatl to ensure that one damage because the negate did not actually negate the attack, just minus ten. Didn't want to attack again because I knew I'd get minus 5 again and I'd be at 5k and I'd have to invest 10k worth of combo so I figured it was uh, better off the chill. So turn 4, Gohan is starting off with a Broly Crown. He gets to see how broken of a hand I have already been able to develop within the first 3 turns. I don't have anything too spicy at this point in the game, so I think his best option here is like a God Seal, and I think that's what he takes, which is uh, obviously really good, being able to take one of my counter plays directly out of my hand to where I can't stop one of his cards coming into play. Here he's going to use his leader to attack my uh, Unison, I believe. <coughs> Actually deciding to pay one for his Gohan first. Probably a better idea, because he does plan on comboing. 
uh, here I God seal it. I want him. I want to force him into a situation where he has to invest more energy to keep that one drop on field. Uh, so here he's now he's using his uh, attack here because he doesn't want to uh, invest more energy into the one drop. Using his Broly Crown to get up to 20k to ensure a marker off my unison. <clears throat> now he's tapping one for another Gohan. Uh, I would have expected that uh, first, but that's fine. Here he's gonna find the the four cost Gohan that minus is 10 a battle card on play when it's uh, uh, played through pseudo arrival if you have two or more red cards in your combo area. Here he's using his unison to swing and uh, at that point he gets his uh, combo in and draws off his effects and then I just take it. Passes back to me, I take turn four to play my boo unison. I use this effect to draw a card and then I swing with my leader. Looks like we're going to get the use of a Violent Raise. It looks like he doesn't want to have to deal with uh, swinging at Boo. Or getting swing at with Boo. So there I get my leader effect to untap 2 and draw. And then I just pass turn on tapping 1 with Boo. 3 energy up going into his, uh, I believe, turn 5 here. Absolutely. So he's counting his drop. Looks like he's... Debating on what to do. Drawing one off the unison effect. Very strong. Here he's going to pay one and play another one of those Gohans. The effect to draw when you uh, combo with skillless is only limited one per copy of card. So he can't draw two when he combos with skillless. But having both of them on the field ensures that if I get rid of one, he'll have a backup one there instead. So here he's going to use his leader to attack into what I believe is my leader. Here I say no negates. And here he's going to combo with skill is get the effect from his leader and the one drop on field to draw a card. Looks like I'm debating on how to survive uh, this attack here. I'm at 3 life, and I have been since his turn 2 or turn 3, I believe, and uh, defending it is going to be a struggle because starting off aggressive is definitely one of the ways to hurt Soul Striker. Um, so here at B, and I get my red energy back, get uh, 5k to my leader, and then I combo with a Goku. Unfortunately, I did have to pay one for this because I was not already... Uh, live with its effect. I did not have a red blue extra card in the drop area yet, so I did have to pay one for it, but it did allow me to put a cooler into play and get rid of both of his one drops. So, decently strong play for me. Uh, and here he's going to use his uh, unison to swing. Piccolo Jr. unison obviously being such a great card. Here I'm going to decide just to block his attack and see if he combos. Um, I'm alright with losing one marker off the unison this turn. I just figured uh, a marker off the unison is better than having to deal with uh, comboing out of a attack or just taking a life. So I figured I'd lose the marker for it. Here he doesn't combo so I didn't have to lose a marker anyways. Very powerful being a 20k unison boo. Uh, so here I get my next charge. I use boo's effect the draw card. Checking my drop area, you gotta gotta make sure I have certain things set up so that um, my end game plan uh, lines up correctly. Here I'm paying two for Tyranny's cost. My opponent is only at eleven cards in hand, so he only has to shuffle one card from hand in, into his deck. But all in all, uh, me getting a filter one and a draw, uh, technically a plus, and then a filter, and then forcing him to get one card out of his hand is a very powerful effect. And it does, it does, it's crazy because it does hit any amount of cards down to 10. So if you're versing some deck that has a crazy amount of draw power and they're at sitting at 15, 16 cards, you're going to make them uh, shuffle six cards from their hand onto their deck, and that's pretty powerful. Here I'm tapping another blue energy to use quite a guy from my drop area. Uh, it doesn't get warp, it's actually supposed to be removed from the game. Uh, that's my bad there. I, I might move it. I don't know if I notice it or not. Probably not. Here I'm swinging with my leader into his unison I'd imagine 
Or actually, no, I believe this turn I start to... Oh, no, I, I, I am actually believe I'm directing into the unison. Because I do think that he allows that unison to get killed before I actually start pressuring his uh, leader. Here I'm using a double strike cooler. Figuring I would see a violent raise or something, I'd, I was going to try to force him into choosing to not deal with the double strike from the unison or the battle card. And cost him two cards from hand. But it seems like he just decided to uh, let it go. Uh, probably the smarter play. Still having four energy open, five lives, very healthy, and uh, looks like he still has got a decent hand. Obviously, if you uh, just used Tyranny's cause, he just had to shuffle one, so he's got ten cards in hand, still healthy. Uh, here I'm getting an attack in with my boo. I sensu bean, give him five k, and I believe, yep, I combo uh, ape here. Looks like I'm honestly just digging at this point of the game. I just want to find as many things as I can. I'm tapping two mono blue here to draw two cards. He actually landed, I actually landed that uh, 30k double strike. Being a combo deck, I kind of expected him to try to combo out of that and stay above, uh, stay above uh, four. So here I use Overwhelm Trunks, a very sneaky spice for, uh, in my opinion. This guy's an Overwhelm three, and then when you play him with Overwhelm, you get to draw two cards and then warp one from hand, uh, which allows me to put cards that I need in my warp there when I need to. Uh, so pretty powerful effect. As you can see, I warped a cat blow from my hand. Uh, any other way it's kind of hard to get that card into the drop area in order to use its effect to warp it so uh, using that overwhelm to draw and then get it out of my hand that way felt very strong so I decided to use that overwhelm in the stack it felt really nice there I pass turn I get my one energy back he did take that attack uh, from trunks so he is now sitting at two life and I decided to topo on his first swing I'm uh, pitching an Emperor's Death Vein, but I do believe it. Yeah, I was like, no, that's probably not the best bet. So I decided to pitch a uh, Tyranny's Cost. Now that I have another red blue in the grave, those Gokos are officially free combo again. Here he doesn't want to uh, fight through the Justice of Topo, so he does pass it immediately back to me, leaving off his energy up. It looks like he has some defensive options here. So I'm using the boo effect to draw, and then I'm paying three and putting the Goku in the field. I'm going to see if he has a response. He doesn't, so I use the activate main to grab two extra cards from my warp and add them to my hand. He goes to preemptively scoop, but I told him, hey man, I tap my red blue to play him. I can't, uh, I officially cannot, uh, unless I have a B, in which I honestly, in this situation, I didn't. And he violently raised me and called battle cards. So now all three of my battle cards live here can't attack when I uh, decided to attack my leader. So here I use my uh, unison to attack. And here he's going to rip a life to play testing the opposition. Uh, effectively stopping my whole turn. Uh, so here I... Here I'm debating on tapping out. Uh, for the counter counter and going for it but I really didn't want to walk into another negate because he still has tons of energy up so I'm like I'm just going to play it safe and get you one way or, the, uh, uh, or another so here I pass back to him leaving a bunch of my energy up but I know I have defensive options like hatch in this deck so here he's going to pay one for Broly Crown and take one last peek at my very broken hand here I got hatch I got all four of my super combos which is crazy and I believe I had uh, the cat blow after using the Goku's effect in my hand. So once I get my red blue energy up next turn, I will be able to just end the game there. <coughs> so here he's swinging with his leader. And as I said, I did have hatch. So stopping his turn effectively, not make, making it to where he can't do nothing, and going to my turn, which I'm going to just uh, cat blow for the win. And with that being said, guys, that's the battle. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you.